Alcohol. So when people say, oh, having a glass of red wine a night is good for you, is that not true? It's not true, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately for my wine lovers, this is a video that I do in fact agree with. It was thought that moderate alcohol consumption did actually improve longevity. Because many graphs such as this indicate a J-shaped curve in which there is actually reduced mortality around 6 to 8 drinks per week compared to those consuming none. In fact, moderate alcohol consumption reduced the risks of more than 20 different diseases and health problems. With that being said, there was also a finding that moderate alcohol consumption reduced the risk of liver cirrhosis, which was quite confusing because alcohol is the most deleterious macronutrient when it comes to liver fat and liver cirrhosis. The reason results like this have been found and published appears to be due to a phenomenon called the sick quitter effect. Essentially, the inclusion of former drinkers in the reference group of those who are not drinking any alcohol. Therefore, it likely isn't the alcohol leading to less liver cirrhosis, but the development of liver cirrhosis leading to alcohol abstinence. Essentially, a majority of that group of people who were not drinking any alcohol were actually former drinkers who have already developed a myriad of health problems due to alcohol consumption. And because these individuals are fairly sick, which caused them to stop drinking alcohol, they are increasing the risk of all-cause mortality and a multitude of health concerns. Which is why somehow those abstaining from alcohol at the present moment had higher rates of liver cirrhosis. Because it was the development of liver cirrhosis that caused them to terminate their consumption of alcohol. The other factor is that those consuming alcohol had a higher socioeconomic status. And graphs of socioeconomic status indicate that higher socioeconomic status reduces the risk of all-cause mortality. And this higher socioeconomic status was another factor that decreased their all-cause mortality and their development of deleterious health conditions. And if you truly adjust, there does in fact appear to be a dose response in which as any alcohol is consumed, your risk of all-cause mortality and the risk of a multitude of diseases also increases and there doesn't actually appear to be any safe level of alcohol consumption.